Hey everyone, just a quick one today. I um, just wanted to talk a little about applying LUTs and controlling them in DaVinci. Been getting a, a few messages about, you know, I put the LUT on but it comes on too strong and then I try and change it and image falls apart. So I just wanted to just quickly show you my process when working with these LUTs in DaVinci. So the first thing I'm going to do is just add um, three nodes. Of course each node just controls, you know, as little or as much uh, of the image as you want. In this case, uh, I put three on there because I want to use the third one to you uh, insert the LUT, and that's all I'm going to do in here. The only thing I'm going to do in node three is put this LUT on, and yeah, very nice. It's kind of done its job. It looks colorful and contrasty, but it's really a bit too much. It's really crushing the blacks a bit, and you know, it's kind of there is such a thing as too much of a good thing. So. There are a few ways to control this. Um, the first way is simply to control the gain of the LUT itself, and by that I mean the level of this entire node. In DaVinci, if you come down here to the keying tool, uh, you'll see uh, a parameter called gain, which literally just means the the level of hum of that node. So at one, it's 100%. If I change that to 0.5, it's only going to do half of the, the power of putting that, uh, that LUT on that node. And so you see it's really pulled it back quite a bit. And I can just drag this back and forth until it gets to a point where I think, you know, that LUT has just enough power to, to have the right effect. So I might stop here, that's about 0.6. Now why did I create three nodes if that's it? Well, that's not it. Um, in the first node, traditionally in, in grading, you use the first node to do your basic color balance, contrast balance, you know, just make the image look right. So this is, uh, here we'll all now get, you know, the blacks kind of closer down to zero, so I'll just drop that a bit. Um, if I wanted to start balancing the colors, this is again where I would, I would do it, to balance colors and shadows, etc. Might pull up the mids just a bit. And so again, this is all happening in this uh, first node here. The LUT is still over here. And the, the nice thing about having nodes is you can then uh, turn these nodes on and off as you want. So you can see that this first node, if I turn it off and then back on, you know, isn't doing a lot, but it's just kind of finishing off the image. Uh, so what's this second node for? Well, the second node can now be used for any special effects, any, anything else in the image that you wanted to uh, emphasize. So, you know, I might just create a couple of very basic examples here. I'll just feather this out so it's uh, right here. And I might bring it up to the sky. Now, I might decide I don't want to feature the sky. I actually want the sky to start going into shadow. So I can start pulling down the entire offset um, of just the sky. And now, in relation to everything else, you see the sky, you know, I now have control of the sky. Or I might want to affect the saturation. I might want to to really pump up the colors of the sky and start bringing it, you know, um, somewhere very surreal. So I can really start pulling on on these guys. And now, you know, we're starting to create uh, a very surreal but very dramatic image. So here we, you know, um, uh, here we can start controlling these these elements. So instead of that, you know, I might. Uh, rather choose to do something that's a little more useful, I might put it over at the Opera House here and make it a bit smaller. Um, and I might just want to, you know, brighten up you know, the Opera House a bit just to draw draw attention to it a bit more. So, okay, so now it's like the sun is shining, you know, right on on the Opera House. I turn this note off and you see the difference that's making. So that's kind of uh, it. Um, very easy to, you know, control this uh, LUT again through the, the gain control right here. Um, then go back to the first node, do some basic correction, and then go to the second node and um, do whatever you want to make your image absolutely perfect. All right, that's it. Just a uh, quick one to go through that aspect. Um, hope that helped.